Dr. G here from naturalfoodsdiet.org. Magnesium is the fourth most abundant mineral in your body, and it's a necessary cofactor for hundreds of enzymes, and it's the most critical mineral of all for coping with stress. Magnesium is created inside a giant star that must have at least three times the mass of our sun. The magnesium is then in ejected into the universe through a supernova explosion. It's actually very similar to a farmer fertilizing his fields with one of those spray-like contraptions. The supernova is one of the most powerful forces in the universe. In fact, in just a few weeks, the supernova explosion expends more energy than the total output of our sun over its entire 10 billion year lifespan. Now this is one manufacturing and distribution process that I want to see the drug companies try to replicate. Now magnesium is the eighth most abundant mineral in the Earth's crust. And it's a mineral that's needed by every single cell in our body. It helps maintain normal muscle and nerve function. It keeps the heart rhythm steady and it builds strong bones. It's also involved in energy metabolism and protein synthesis. Now fortunately for us, and thanks to the stars such as the one that produced the supernova, supernova remnant N49b, there is an abundant supply of magnesium in the universe. Now, the question is, are these minerals that are critical for life here by design or are they here by accident? Well, that's a topic for another day. Let's talk about magnesium. Now, it's found in our foods like fruits, vegetables, nuts, whole grains, and fish. And if you drink spring water or mineral water, you can get some magnesium from these sources too. Now, most minerals in the food that we now eat are at low levels due to excessive processing, poor farming met methods that deplete the soils, and the use of pesticides that interfere with the natural sulfur cycle. This leaves us not only with chemically adulterated food, but food that has lower nutritional value. Now, it just seems like it's probably common sense to supplement with magnesium. This becomes more evident when we see in the medical literature all of the medical uses for magnesium. And this includes the treatment of pain, migraine headaches, brain injury, dementia, heart attacks, dysrhythmias, muscle spasms, depression, fibromyalgia, chronic fatigue syndrome, constipation, asthma, glaucoma, hypertension, insomnia, anxiety, kidney stones, tinnitus, ADHD. You need to hear more? Now, most people don't get enough. In fact, in the United States, 55% of the population are below the RDA, and 20% more get less than half of the RDA. This means that only 25% of the population get enough. Now, how can you tell if you're part of that majority of people that has insufficient magnesium intake? Well, here's a list of factors that may play a role. Now, if you drink alcohol, you have a greater need. If you drink coffee or other caffeinated beverages, you lose more magnesium. If you follow the advice of your doctor or dietitian and you supplement with calcium at a higher milligram dose than the magnesium, then you're also more likely to be deficient. Now, if you eat refined sugar, which by the way, doesn't have any magnesium at all in it, you'll more likely have a magnesium deficiency. Now, increased stress, whether it's physical, like if you had a surgery or an injury, or even mental stress, increases the magnesium need. Now, drugs like diuretics, the acid-blocking drugs, and many others can lower your magnesium levels. And what about age? If you're an old geezer like me, your stomach acid production may have slowed down, and your digestive processes in general also slow down with aging. So, you're more likely to be low. Now, what are the deficiency signs? Weakness, muscle pain, confusion, mood changes, hyperactivity, anxiety, muscle spasms and tremors, 
nausea, poor coordination, palpitations, insomnia, and a person's increased susceptibility to kidney stones. Now, I want you to stay tuned for part two of the story. We'll have more information on the research related to magnesium and the best way to supplement.